When people think about refereeing a hockey game, the last thing that comes to mind is superior customer service. However, they couldn't be more wrong. Everything we do revolves around customer service, from communication to all those involved with the game to total game management. Providing good customer service is the way to go. Some key points that all officials should take away from this training program include improving confidence and comfort on the ice, using customer service strategies to get results, and enhancing the public's image of the referee by providing superior customer service during the game. Also, at the end of this training, you'll be able to define and describe who a customer is and what their basic needs are, five dimensions of customer service, how to manage a difficult call on the ice, projecting a positive image, and techniques for handling difficult situations. Before you officiate any more games on the ice, there are certain questions to ask yourself. First off, do my current skills help reduce my stress when dealing with difficult calls? Do I enjoy being on the ice? And do I feel personally satisfied when I'm doing a great job? The game of hockey should not place undue and unwarranted stress on players, coaches, or officials. If you answered no to any of the above questions, then you could benefit from improved customer service. The referee can play a big part in seeing that the entire focus of a game is placed on the players and not on themselves. Before you officiate any more games on the ice, there are certain questions to ask yourself. First off, do my current skills help reduce my stress when dealing with difficult calls? Do I enjoy being on the ice? And do I feel personally satisfied when I'm doing a great job? The game of hockey should not place undue and unwarranted stress on players, coaches, or officials. If you answered no to any of the above questions, then you could benefit from improved customer service. The referee can play a big part in seeing that the entire focus of a game is placed on the players and not on themselves. A common reaction by officials when asked is, why should I improve? Every call should be looked upon as an opportunity to enhance customer relations, your image, and the image of the rank you work at. Remember, the typical person tells approximately 20 people about a negative experience and only tells about 5 people about a positive experience. As a referee, you can make a hockey game experience for everyone better by recognizing the basic needs of any coach or player. First off, to be recognized and remembered. To feel valued. To feel appreciated. To feel respected, understood, and to feel comfortable about a want or need. Now that you know what's important to coaches and players, it's also important to know the five dimensions of customer service when refereeing a game. First off, to show and display professionalism. First impressions and your appearance play a large part of the game for a referee. Speedy responses when coaches have questions about calls that either were or were not called. Knowing the rules as a referee and making and assessing accurate calls on the ice. Referees who show a genuine concern when a coach has a question. And reliable follow through. If a referee makes a promise to a coach that they will or will not look for certain things on the ice, making sure that they do that is important. Some examples of the previous slide would be professionalism. Using thank you and please when appropriate when dealing with coaches and players can go a long way. As far as speedy responses, don't pad your conversations with idle chatter. And don't take more than a minute or two to give explanations to a coach when they ask a question in reference to a call. Spending more time by the benches and continuing to argue or show your position on a call will only lead to additional arguments later in the game. When it comes to accurate information, use easy to understand examples. Try not to blame others and ensure that you're using the proper rule book and that you know the rules a genuine concern means using empathy. Don't judge the feelings of the coaches or players or sometimes even parents. And don't let one negative response bleed into another and carry over for the entire game. 
Finally, a reliable follow-up means that you have a responsibility again to carry out any promised action that you gave to coaches or players. Displaying a positive attitude has its advantages. First off, it creates goodwill with both coaches and players between them and you as the referee. It reduces the potential for irritating both of those. It lessens the stress for you during the game. It helps you enjoy your job more and enjoy refereeing the game more. And finally, it creates a more productive work environment for you.